Hello, Edward Demancus, Fei Mong Wing Chao. A couple months ago, we did some training video. They were just in the studio, uh, all by myself, with no interaction. So today, let's have a little bit of interaction. It's gonna be basic stuff. We can gradually get better and do more stuff later. But for today, I have my partner, Josh. If you remember in our practice, we did something like Tan, we did Pa, we did Gone. So, how does it work? What does it look like? How does it feel to your partner, right? Um, many times, Wing Chun stands like this, and everybody expects it. I say that's mumbo jumbo. We can stand how we want, right? So, he's gonna get into his whatever stance. I like mirroring my opponent. I think it's, I think it matters. So I'll do it. So he gets into his fighting stance and he's gonna throw me something. Tondo. Now, of course, he could be non-conforming in the sense where maybe my punch wasn't heavy enough, right? So same thing. And then maybe he comes with the secondary punch. But right, let's try that again, right? So ha, I'm coming back again. Now, let's talk about follow through. Right? So, if he does that, again, or multiple punches, right? And maybe, maybe then, that might not be, we get into a clinch situation from it, right? So, always, always sticking to you. By the way, Josh is a hardcore trainer, so I love having him. What about that, since we did that roundhouse example, what about that straight punch, right? Same thing, right? I can't believe how many people don't use it. It's like one of the best movements we have. Bakhtar. What if in the beginning of the altercation, he's skilled, obviously trained, leads off with the jab. Same thing, non-conforming, my punches aren't heavy enough, he throws another punch, All right? So, always, always sticking to him. So, that's it for today. So, till next time, Josh, Ed, Fei Mong Wing Chan, signing out.